guys it's Sacro Wolf here back again with another video so today guys this is our third tutorial actually second one um, and in this tutorial I'll be explaining to you guys how to use the word edit so word edit is the first on the list so I'll start from the top of the list to the bottom of the list so let's get into this tutorial Okay guys, uh, so the first thing you should do, wait, let me set the time to zero. Okay, so the first thing you guys should do, this is the basic command, is slash slash wand. So by selecting the wand, you can like set stuff to stones and stuff like that. So let's say I will select, you will press, uh, you will pl press left click to select the first position as the second position by pressing right click so let's say you selected your position it's from here to here you will set it to stone slash then you will type in two slashes and set stone so as you can see this sets the two of them to stone it's definitely complete uh, as you can see I mean it's like full inside so if you want to undo this if you made a mistake you type slash, slash undo and if you want to redo it, you type slash slash redo. Okay, so we will undo it. I will show you guys more stuff. So let's say you want to add a wall, but it won't be filled like the last time. So we'll type in slash slash wall and stone. Oh my bad. Uh, slash slash wall stone. Here we go. This sets it to walls on only but no roof. If you want to set it to walls and roof, you will type in, we will undo, slash slash outline and stone. Bam. It's not filled in the inside. If you remove two blocks, as you can see, this is like a basic house. It took us zero seconds. You will need the word edit if you're making a server. It f you, def you will definitely need it. And it will help you out. I suggest you add it. It's on the top of the list. I'll put the link of the plugin in the description, anyways. So, let's say um, you get maybe dirt. Oh, dirt. You put it here, here, and you want to replace it. Let's say with glass. So you type in slash slash replace. Uh, oh my bad you have to select it so you select from here to here slash slash replace grass uh, I mean dirt and type in here glass so yeah this is actually like one of the m one of my favorite plugins and let's say you want to move this here maybe you will get this select your house again Oh, oops. Oh my god, my bad. So you select first position, second second position, and you type slash slash move five. Bam. As you can see it moved it and yeah. If you want so yeah, let me explain this thing real quick. So when you um, set the position like let's say you set from here to here it's set from the place it doesn't set the block so let's say I'll type in set, set, set grass look it made another house and it uh, this one did a change so when you move the like the claimed area uh, says as it is and this one isn't related you have to redo the position thing so you, we will undo this and undo this we want it back Okay, so the next command is ascend and descend. You type in slash slash ascend, uh, ascend if you want to go up, descend if you want to go down. So let's say you want to descend, you will type slash slash descend, and let's say you want to go down 10 blocks. Or do slash slash descend. Here we go. Descended a level. Oh, yeah, so as you can see, if it doesn't have like if there isn't any mine down I cannot descend actually there has to be a mine if there is no open spot it won't just descend you and make you stuck so yeah if there is a mine below me I, I can descend easily but there is no mine okay 
as you can see it's not forking if you go to a place that has a mine oh here we go oh my god so as you can see I descended because um, it's an open place so I can descend in it if I want to go up I type slash slash ascend and here we go we're back again this is a cool command uh, it's not really useful but it's okay it, it might come in handy sometimes let's say you build like a really big wall and the only way to go you just have to do like that the easier way is type in slash through here we go you can go through the wall with it but if it's double layered wall let's say double layered wall okay I'll type in slash slash through you can also go if it's maybe like five layers and uh, you won't be able to use slash slash through so yeah depends on the thickness actually so m moving on the next command it is slash slash cylinder you type in the block let's say I want um, glass you type the radius too bam this is like uh, the cylinder and if you maybe type 2 and 2 and 2 oh okay this made like as you can see it made two layers of it this might come in handy but maybe let's say you're making egg boards and you want this to be the middle place this might come in handy and maybe you can do each soil this makes it hollow so in the inside it's empty and let's soil glass and make it thin here we go if you want to make uh i'm not wait set uh okay if you want to make like two layers of it only you type in size slash two this makes two layer and two oh my bad you can type in uh slash slash, slash no make it nine as you can see this might come in handy actually you will really need it and moving on the next command the pyramids let's say you want to make a pyramid maybe in the lobby stuff like that you type in slash 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 as pyramid and make it out of stone and then you will have to type in slash slash room or oh, no free spot open the head ahead so as you can see we created our own pyramid this might really be useful so i'll just go down and undo it all so as you can see it's it's kind of annoying to see it like that so what if i want to make it holified from the inside you type in slash slash h pyramid and here we go you might add some edits yourself but yeah this is a pyramid command undo it moving on the next command slash slash sphere so I'll make a glass one Ma let's say make it 10 oh ok let's, uh, let me do slash through oh. here we go looks like earth actually so you, you undo it you want to make an open one as I said before, make each sphere. Oh, looks actually amazing. Let's say you want to uh, make undo it. Wait a second. Slash slash undo slash as. And let's say you want on um, diamond underscore block. Oh, awesome actually. So let's say you want to make like a vote for people to come vote, you can just close it, put some lights, stuff like that. And we can type slash through, slash slash undo. Here we go. So, it's, I'll just tell you one thing, this is an emergency. What will I do if someone grieves my place by, let's say, placing um, a lot of water griefing my uh my spawn maybe with water so i'll explain this is an emergency only if you want to use it for fun free, feel free to use it it's okay also loading so you this might this will lag me so i'll go on an easier place let's say this place 
Okay, as you can see, this is normal water. You will type in. You will, you have to go to the bottom of the water. You will type in slash slash drain, drain, and you will type drain in the radius. So then, here we go. Actually, when this happens, it happens with more water in it. So let's say this place. Actually, I will remove. Uh, let's say twenty blocks. As you can see, looks awesome actually while it's coming back. <laughs> this is only used in emergency. If you accidentally use it, you can type in slash and do. It might take a little time because it's water, it depends on how much blocks did you remove. Okay, so moving on to the next thing. I'll explain the wand, I'll explain the drain. What if you got lava creep? Or fire, someone's burned uh, all of your spawn, maybe. Mm. So let's say someone used lava, or let's go with flint and sand. Okay, this might happen, and if it comes near the wood, it will even make it worse. Trust me. So, okay, let's say this happens to you, and look, look at what it does. If it comes to normal wood, it will do the same. You will type in slash. EX, this is extinguish, and you will type 50. Here we go. Or uh, now, not, no more fire. We will drain this. Drain. Here we go. So, there is a command. Uh, no, no, no. I'll wait for this command right now. As you can see, this took me zero seconds to make. So, let me explain how. Let's say uh, you want to make like this kind of thing. Maybe you have better designs than me. I'll just explain it. You can use it the way you want to use it. So you will get a tool actually. Maybe an axe, a sword, depends on you. You will get a diamond pickaxe. And you will type in slash slash brush. Or slash brush. The two of them are okay. Let's say, let's say you want to make a sphere like that. So you will type in slash brush, and you will type sphere. It will tell you the pattern, uh, pattern and the radius. You will type in stone maybe, and the radius, the max radius is five. So here we go. You will just press right click. Oh, as you can see, it's working. Oh my god. And yeah, you might have better designs than me. If you want to undo it, you just type in slash and do. But you can't undo it all at once, actually. And let's say you want to smooth it, you get another tool. Let's say sword, a normal sword. And then you type in slash slash brush and smooth. This will smooth two times four using any block. So as you can see, it's trying its best to smooth. Yeah, it's a good one actually. I used to have a server. I made a volcano out of this. Yeah, it's really good command. <coughs> you will really need this in the future. Trust me. So we got in the one. This is the basic command, and now we will get into the schematics. You can type in schematics. So <coughs> let's say uh, here we go. This is the schematics and. By schematics, you can load, you can load like more stuff. Let's say you found a cool map on a website, and you want to get this map on your server. You can do it if it's downloadable. So once you download it, it's a really big step. But uh, if you guys want me to make a video about it, please leave a comment in the description. Uh, I mean in the comments, and I'll make it for you guys. So okay. Uh, <coughs> Let's say you want to load the schematics, so you type slash slash schemat skim list. It says no schematics found because I don't have any. But when you type it, yeah, if you ha if you have maps downloaded, you will find the same, and you can do slash schem schematic load, and then you will be able to load it. You just have to type uh, the file name and exactly like let's say it has caps you have to type it if you and it might crash the, your server if, if it's really big but if it's small it will load okay okay so skim skim same 
by this command you can save a schematic actually and this is a really nice command let's say you built a build a big spawn and you really don't want to lose it if you get grieved if you want to respawn it if someone attacks it maybe if you forgot to claim it so you save it and different things happen you don't have to get mad you can just replace it easily and skim delete this deletes the schematics and skim schematics format this tells you the format so okay guys this is what i have for this video hope you guys hope this video helped you out guys and i'll see you in the next tutorial